Airmen and safety professionals, I'm very excited about our name change, the rebranding from ground to occupational safety. Ground safety was started by General Hap Arnold to prevent jeep mishaps in North Africa in 1943. Safety laws and codes emerged over the next decades and agencies such as OSHA, EPA, and NIOSH began. These agencies used the term occupational safety while the Air Force terminology did not keep up. By changing our name from ground to occupational safety, the Air Force does a few things. First, it better aligns with DODI language and emphasizes the core mission directed by 29 CFR 1960 and Executive Order 12196. It also brings the Air Force safety community and vocabulary into the 21st century as we serve at both home station and in deployed locations worldwide. And the term occupational safety instantly translates our key duties and responsibilities to external federal agencies. Finally, the change opens communication for both military and civilian safety professionals to have a conversation with commanders, supervisors, and airmen about what we do and where our respective skills lie. On duty, Air Force safety is fantastic at using the art and science of safety to recommend risk controls and other mitigation techniques that work best. Our structure leverages this skill set well. It's proven and works everywhere. In the off-duty environment, quite often, positive behavior changes can keep airmen free from harm. And who is best poised to affect an airman's off-duty behavior? It's commanders, supervisors, and the culture they build. These airmen affect behavior and have done so since the dawn of the Air Force. When leaders look airmen in the eyes, the environment for positive behavior change and accountability begins. We cannot do this effectively through AFSAS, risk matrices, or impersonal emails. Commanders, supervisors, and a culture that supports positive and professional behavior on and off duty drive injury and fatality rates down. So let's have that conversation because it's too late when the SIB is forming. It's too late when we're making recommendations and it's too late at the Class A outbrief. Occupational safety is who we are. It speaks to our strengths. It aligns with federal law and DOD policy and it allows us to have that conversation. So the next time you're asked what it is you do Tell them. Tell them proudly why and what you do and what you bring to the fight. Tell them how they can help. We are all commanders, supervisors, airmen and safety professionals in the business of safeguarding airmen, protecting resources, and preserving combat capability. On behalf of Major General Mueller and Mr. Bill Parsons, I'm proud to serve alongside you. Thank you for what you do and thank you for your dedication to the mission.